So what do you do when your external hard drive won't show up on your Windows computer? Keep watching and I'll show you three solutions you can try. This works with any external USB drive that powers up and is not making any strange noises. However, please watch the entire video before making any changes to your hard drive to avoid losing important data. So when I plug in my device, naturally it would just show up. I know currently I can't access this one, so here are some simple things to check. Try plugging the drive into another USB port or computer. If the hard drive doesn't show up, then try using a different USB cable. For me, swapping out USB cables has worked in the past. Even though I couldn't see any damage, one of the wires inside could have been shorted out. The fix could actually be as simple as changing the cable. But what if your hard drive powers up but still won't show up in Windows Explorer? Here's the next thing you should look at. It's possible that the drive hasn't been assigned a drive letter. Without it, the computer knows the drive is there, but I can't access it. So let me show you what's happening. When I plug my drive into a USB port, I can hear the chime alert, but it's not listed in the devices and drive section here. I do see another external drive here, which is the E drive, but the one I just plugged in can't be found. What I need to do is right click on the Windows Start button and click on Disk Management. In the next window, it will show me a list of all the drives connected to this computer. In the bottom section, I know that Disk 0 and Disk 1 are the internal drives labeled as the C and D, but don't mess with these, especially the C drive. Disk 2 is the external USB drive labeled as the E drive, which is already connected with no problems. But Disk 3 is the external drive I just plugged in. Notice it has no letter assigned to it, but my computer knows it's there, but it's just not letting me access it. Here's how to make it work. Right click on the drive and click Change Drive Letter and Paths. In the next window, click the Add button. Then make sure the circle is selected where it says Assign the following drive letter and in the drop-down menu, choose a letter. I'll select H. Then, as soon as I click OK, the contents of my drive pop up and now I can use it like normal. Also, going back to disk management one more time, I can verify that disk 3 is the H drive. And just so you know, there's no risk of losing data on your external drive by changing drive letters. But the drive letter you choose could affect programs that have linked this hard drive under a different letter. I hope that makes sense. One situation I've run into before is connecting two drives that have been assigned the same letter. If this is the case, the second hard drive will not show up, but following my instructions to change a drive letter will make the second hard drive accessible again. If nothing else works, it's possible that the drive is corrupted or malfunctioning. There may be no way to fix a drive that is suffering from mechanical malfunctions, but if the data is corrupted, there is something you can try. However, it will also erase all your files. So I want to emphasize that the next step will delete everything on your hard drive. So only proceed if nothing else works. Once again, I've plugged in my external hard drive, but it's not showing up in Windows Explorer. I'll right click on the Windows Start button and click on Disk Management. Here, Disk 3 is my problem drive. It has no drive letter, but it's possible that if the drive is corrupted, it won't work even if a drive letter has been assigned. So when I've determined that I absolutely can't recover the files on my drive, I'm going to have to reformat it. To do this, right click on the problem drive and this time choose format. Here I can rename the drive and choose the type of formatting. If you work on Windows only, then choose NTFS. If you want the drive to work on both Windows and Mac, then choose XFAT. And when you're ready to delete everything, click OK. Since my drive is working, I'm going to cancel out. But please remember, once you click OK, everything on your hard drive will be deleted and there's no way to get it back. Okay, and here's one last thing. It's possible that your drive has been formatted for Apple computers. So it's worth plugging it into a Mac to see if the hard drive will show up there. A Mac formatted drive won't work on a Windows computer and it has to be reformatted so Windows can read it. If any of these tips work, I would immediately back up the drives to a working hard drive to avoid any loss later. Hopefully some of these tips help you get your hard drive working again. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.